Well, it's time to get on par with Paul Shaheen at Black Creek Club. This week, he's featuring one of the more memorable putting greens in the area with international roots. Here's Paul. On par with Paul, sponsored by Linderman's Furniture. Shop now and save at Linderman's Furniture, North Georgia's best kept secret. Welcome back to On Par with Paul, everybody. Today we are going international, but we're still in Chattanooga at Black Creek Golf Club. And we are at hole number 17. We're going international because that green right there, oh, it is not like a lot of others. In fact, it was modeled after two holes, both of which not in the United States. One was in France. It was called a chasm hole. The other in Scotland. So on the note, we bring in one of Scotland's finest stateside, Jordan Douglas, head pro here at Black Creek. Jordan, this hole comes after a Scotland one that you've played, correct? Yep, uh, number 16 at North Berwick. So very similar green complex. Uh, North Berwick, they play it as a par four, but today we'll be playing it as a par three. And the green is so severe from 40 yards, I had no chance. So it's like one of the easiest bogeys I've ever made. <laughs> and we mentioned number 17, the Black Creek. You know what it does, right? For those of you who haven't played it, we're going to show you it. It's got a little bit of this to it. And when I do this, I mean this. Yep. This. I mean, you could almost lose me in the dip. Uh, Doug Stein, of course, everyone knows Doug Stein out here, is trying to get us to play this from 300 yards. Yeah, I don't normally play it from back here. No, we're going to play it from what, about 250? Oh, these are going to be fun putts. Oh, Good yeah. shot. Here we go. Shot, Paul. Is it coming back down? Oh. <laughs> right back down in the Brits. Yep. Welcome, Black Creek. <laughs> so we're calling it a Brits, yep. and it comes from the place in France where it was Correct. originated, which that hole doesn't even exist anymore. Exactly. So if you got an itch for France and the Brits, hole 17 of Black Reef, that's your spot. By the way, if you remember the last time we were at Black Creek, we played it with Doug. He made me walk. His course, his rules. It's a walking game, laddie. Doug, we have carts today. You're golf allowing me. Golf is a walking game, and I've got two brand new hips, <laughs> and I'm walking. He's frustrated that I am driving. This is what we mean by how extreme this green is. Here's your hole, right? This is the back tier. Follow me here. This is the Brits where my ball landed. I mean, I'm five, six feet down in elevation. You come back up another hill, 50 feet from the crest of this one, Jordan's ball. This is a near impossible putt. I mean, I think you just got to go with the mindset that we had on the tee. If you, if right. you make four, it's no disaster, right? Down. Get up. Go. Get up. Go. And there we go. There's really, there's just not another green like this. Oh, no. oh. don't do it. <laughs> Good thing is you don't have to go very far. To I'm thinking still pretty straight. <laughs> I mean, you're never really disappointed if you walk off this hole with a four. And to someone playing this hole, say for the first time or not Three. familiar with it. Mm -hmm. Like you said to me at the tee box, good luck. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's fun, bro. Uh, exactly. I mean, absolutely. It's. Uh, I mean, you saw there with us putting. I mean, it's it's a lot of fun. So yeah. just embrace it, enjoy it, and have a good time. This hole has a little bit of everything, as it you does. just said. It has a green that you're not going to find anywhere else. You're really not. And if you fade that way, it's got a backdrop that might serve as one of the best in the area. It's Black Creek Club number 17, truly one of a kind. 